This is the triple monitor display link docking station from Mini Sapru. This is actually not the first docking station I reviewed from them. I actually reviewed another triple monitor docking station from them, but this has a different design and upgraded ports. In this video, I'm gonna tell you whether it's worth the money for the upgrade. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're looking at the 16-in-1 triple display docking station from Mini Sapru. Now full disclosure, Mini Sapru did reach out to me and ask me if I would like to review this product. Although they did provide me with this product for free, they're not seeing this video before it goes up. All my opinions are my own. Actually, this is the third product that Mini Sapru has sent me. The first one they sent me was a Mac Mini dock and then a docking station similar to the one that we're looking at today. And Mini Sapru is very much focused on Mac peripherals, but although you can plug these into a Windows PC, they do make up the lack of buying a Mac, especially when it comes to ports and peripherals. First, let me take you through a tour of all the ports and what you get. Let's start with the front of the docking station. Going from left to right, we start off with a power button that does light up when it is powered on. I mentioned this before in a previous docking station review, I don't like the fact that these types of units have power buttons. The fact that you can plug so many things into this docking station and have them all go away with a push of a button is a little dangerous to me, especially if you have drives attached to this or you're using this in a production environment. Next to the power button, we have the SD and micro SD card reader. There is no indication in the documentation of what speeds these readers are. Then we come to the USB ports. We have two USB-A ports and three USB-C ports. Four of the ports have an output of 7.5 watts, which should be able to power up most USB devices. The last USB-C port supports power delivery with an output of 30 watts of power. Now what sets these ports apart from other docking stations and even the previous Mini Super docking station is that all these ports support up to 10 gigabits a second of transfer speed. Usually you only have two of the ports that support that speed and other ports supporting up to five gigabits of a second of speed. Next to the USB ports, we have the audio jack, which does support input and output. Lastly, on the front, we have an additional USB-A port, which is USB 2.0. This port is meant for peripherals such as mice and keyboard connections, whether directly or through a dongle. Taking a look at the back, again going from left to right, we have the power port. This unit supports up to 140 watts total going out to all the devices you may have plugged into it. Next to the power port, you have the USB-C host port. This is the port that you plug into your computer. If you plug a laptop into it, it can charge your laptop up to 85 watts of power. That means you can easily charge something up as big as a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Although I will say this dock may or may not be for those who have a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'll explain why in a bit. Th let me skip over to the right side first where we have the gigabit ethernet jack. But we come to the main reason why you would even get this dock, the ability to hook up three external monitors. With an M-series chip from Apple, it has the limitation of hooking up only one external monitor or on the M3 MacBook Air, two external monitors with the lid closed. If you want more than that, you'll need to go up to the Pro chip or higher. The way you can achieve this through this dock is through DisplayLink. I mentioned DisplayLink in a number of videos on this channel before, but in short, it's the technology that allows you to connect displays through USB or Wi-Fi with the help of software. With this dock, you have three groups of ports to drive three external monitors. Within each group, you have either HDMI or DisplayPort. Within a group, you can you only use either one or the other, but you can mix and match from group to group. The first group is labeled DP Alt Mode. This does not require any software and can drive your monitors natively. The next two groups are labeled Display 1 and Display 2. These require that you have the DisplayLink software installed. The non-DisplayLink group supports monitors up to 8K at 30 Hz and the DisplayLink ports support monitors up to 4K at 60 Hz. How does this compare with the previous Mini Sapru dock that I reviewed before? Uh, both have very different designs. I prefer the design of this one. It's very lightweight, but both models are very well built. 
As far as the ports are concerned though, this is where the main advantage of this model comes in. With the exception of the single USB-A 2.0 port, all the USB ports and even the USB-A ports are 10, gig 10 gigabits a second. All the USB-A ports on the older model support only five gigabits a second. Now, when it comes to the, dis the displays, the older model supports 4K monitors. The newer model can support a 8K monitor as well. The newer model is $50 more, so you're gonna have to decide whether the design and the speed bump is worth it to you. How does this compare with the CalDigit docking station? In particular, the TS3 Plus, which has a similar price point to this docking station. As I mentioned before in a previous docking station, the CalDigit TS3 Plus is a different product, and it's the same in this comparison as well. The TS3 Plus has more ports and it has more data throughput because it is a Thunderbolt dock. Now I'm happy to say that on the Mini Super website, it doesn't mention anything about Thunderbolt, which can be a misleading advertisement. Actually, they do mention it on the Amazon listing though. Now let's, let's be clear. This docking station here by Mini Super is not a Thunderbolt dock. If they mention it on the listing, it just means that you can plug it into a Thunderbolt port and that Thunderbolt port is backwards compatible with this dock. And with the true Thunderbolt docking station, it can support up to 40 gigabits a second of transfer speed. This supports up to 10 gigabits a second of transfer speed. The reason why you would get this docking station over the CalDigit is that it supports display link and you can drive up to three external monitors with one single docking station. As fast as the CalDigit is, it can't get over the limitation of an M-series Apple computer. Overall, I think this is a great monitor, especially if you need more than one external monitor for your productivity setup, whether at the office or at home. I mentioned before that I don't think this is a product for owners of a 16-inch MacBook Pro, as you already have a machine that can support multiple monitors. Thanks again to Mini Supru for sending this out to me. As I mentioned before, this is not the first product they've sent to me. All their products have been high quality and I've had no issues with them long term. This is the second docking station I've done a review on recently. I recently did a review on a docking station from Tobin One. I will be doing a head to head comparison video on all the docking stations that I have, including the CalDigit TS3 Plus. So stay tuned and stay subscribed for that. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Until the next one, see ya.